Aaron Taylor Johnson is speaking out about what everyone has been saying about his 23 year age gap with his wife, Sam. This is a serious power imbalance. I've never really noticed. I've never really, never knew, you know noticed an age gap at all. When you're that young and you get with them, you lose your ability to form your identity. She was his boss. He really did trap him though. Aaron Taylor Johnson won't stop defending his marriage to his 57-year-old wife who was once his boss and a big director and then became his girlfriend all when he was just a teenager. There's no doubt in my mind and in everyone else's mind that he was groomed. His wife Sam was able to manipulate him with her power dynamic and she successfully got away with it. So let's get into it. If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. We're going to be talking about Aaron Taylor Johnson and his recent statements on his marriage to Sam Taylor Johnson. To remind you guys why this couple is problematic, they met back in 2009 when Aaron was 19 at the time and auditioned in front of the then 42-year-old director, Sam. Sam had just gotten out of a divorce. Um, you know, Aaron's a young kid that wants to make it in Hollywood. And even though the records like to say that they met during that audition, Sam was a family friend of Aaron for a long time so there's no doubt in my mind that she knew him and knew of him ever since he was a young boy which makes their 23 year age gap even weirder because she knew like him when he was a minor plus what does a 42 year old have in common with a 19 year old but she put her spell on him sam said as soon as we finished filming he told me he was gonna marry me at that point we had never been on a date or even kissed okay there's something really weird about that. The, the things don't necessarily align. Also, what does a 19 year old boy want to do with a 42 year old woman he's never even kissed or went on a date with yet he wants to marry her? Quote, and a year to the minute after we met, exactly one year to the minute, I got down on one knee and asked her to marry me, said Aaron to Sam. So he's obsessed. Maybe even potentially groomed is what a lot of people are alluding to. In 2010, the two welcomed their first child together and then two years later they got married and had their second child. Keep in mind that Aaron is also a stepfather to a 27 year old Angelica and a 17 year old Jesse who Sam actually gave birth to way before she got married and involved with Aaron. So Sam had her own life. She was a, you know, a director. She did the 50 Shades of Grey, if you want a little, like, you know, idea of what her work includes. But, uh, uh, yeah, she was married, had these two children, got divorced, and then quickly got with a teenager. She really did trap him, though. This is only one year after they began production. She's pregnant with their first child when he is 19, turning 20. They had their second a year later when he was turning 21. Now, because a lot of people don't really have a great response to this relationship, they keep it pretty quiet because like, again, this 40 year old woman, 42, 43 year old woman is now pregnant with this teenager and skin. It's just all kind of weird. It's like, you know, it's really speaking to the industry and how the industry works because nowhere else in the world, like, is, I mean, well, at least in America, like, is this stuff happening in the workplace? They decided to keep their personal lives private because, quote, the attention was intrusive, Aaron said, but having to deal with that early in my career probably got me to a place where I can more quickly just go oh you know crap instead of wanting to rip someone's head off for asking questions i don't like so it seems like at one point he had a hard time dealing with the backlash when it came to his relationship but then he eventually decided that you know i mean i think he actually got numb to it and decided not to react but uh it looks like he will be maybe the next james bond and recently he spoke about his marriage to the 57 year old director he's now 33 and he's saying that all the criticism isn't warranted because he's got an old soul thanks to his child acting days which just because a child is a child actor and making money does not mean that they are an adult and can make adult decisions aaron said it's not unusual i'm an old soul and she's a young soul we don't see an age gap we just see each other people have their judgments and opinions and it's almost like other people live by a rule book and i don't in an interview with the sunday times sam said that aaron had an old soul comparing him to the ageist character benjamin button because he has on the outside such a youthful appearance and on the inside 
society is so wise and settled. Okay, that sounds all cute in your interview, but again, like it doesn't change the fact that he's not even a fully developed person when you started getting, you know, entangled with him. I mean, I wonder what her children think. I mean, this hasn't stopped anyone from calling them out, with people alleging grooming behavior has transpired in their relationship since they met when Aaron was nearly a minor. Again, met but I think that they had met, in my opinion, they had met earlier. Rain describes grooming as a manipulative behavior that an adult abuser uses to gain access to a potential young victim to coerce a child into a relationship. She was just going through a divorce. I don't know where she was mentally. We don't know much about her, but she somehow, you know, found love with him. Also, there's like a power dynamic as far as working because he's a young actor who wants to make it and she's, you know, an established director. Here's a clip of the couple being interviewed and asked about this age gap. When the two of you first announced your engagement 10 years ago, there was some drama around it at the time. The yeah, stigma right. was you were older, right? <laughs> right. How much older? 20 something years. 20 ish. Now that would be easily accepted today uh -huh. in the opposite. I'm 26 years yeah. older than my wife. Yeah. How many people ask you about that? Not so many. Nobody probably. cares. Yeah. People ask Why me do you think? Time. Why do they think? I feel like it's one of the last taboos. I feel like everyone comes at me with it in most interviews, and it's interesting. Um, because, like you said, I'm sure people don't ask you so often, but they do ask me. Um, it makes people feel like they should have something to say and an opinion on it. But I've never really... I've never really noticed. I've never, never really... Noticed. Never knew, you know, noticed an age gap at all. I think we just speak... Um, Spiritually on a level, I just feel like we've only ever been connected as soulmates, so I've never really noticed. I just don't really know how he never noticed when all of his friends, like, went off to college, like, you know, had 21st birthdays, like, you know, spring breaks. Like, there's so many great memories from my early 20s that I'm just like, maybe growing up as a child star, that's what happened. Like, he just had no basis for any of those to ever exist. But it seems sad that, like, how do you not notice being so young. I mean, I'm thinking back to when I was 18 and there's no way I would have like been able to get into a committed like full on like relationship marriage with a 42 year old person. Aaron Taylor Johnson's comments in Rolling Stone has outraged people online who are confused that he is defending his marriage when they perceive him to have been forced into a relationship. And it's not easy to digest when Aaron Taylor Johnson is quoted saying that he married his much older wife, Sam, because he quote, grew up too quickly, which is exactly what we don't want to have happen to child stars. Quote, we got to realize is what most people were doing in their 20s. I was doing at 13. You're doing something too quickly for someone else. I don't understand that. What speed are you supposed to enjoy life at? It is bizarre to me. He goes on. Here's a clip of our girl Spilly from Spill Says talking a little bit about her feelings on this. Aaron Taylor Johnson is speaking out about what everyone has been saying about his 23 year age gap with his wife, Sam. For years now, people have had a lot to say about the fact that these two are together and have kids, and it has just been a lot. And he's been in the press a lot this week for rumors about him being the next James Bond, and so the whole conversation has been had once again. So he is very much over the conversation that this relationship is inappropriate. Obviously, the public has much different thoughts than he does on this whole entire situation, but I don't think they're really going to be breaking up just because the public told them to. Aaron goes on to describe his wife as a great filmmaker and a wonderful storyteller. He says, there's a protectiveness that I feel. I think it's really difficult. There's also part of me that feels like if something didn't work, I'm the one that's responsible. People see and perceive things going around in my career and that's okay, but I'm just trying to juggle my family and my work. I'm doing normal life dentist appointments. Career doesn't necessarily take a back seat, but it does take a different thought behind the choices that you make. It almost seems like Aaron's alluding to having a lot of pressure on himself and for managing Sam's emotions, like making sure that she feels okay and her career and content and satisfied and, you know, that she feels worthy and he's responsible for that and their children. He said, I'm trying to be as honest as possible. I probably talked to you more about my kids and Sam than I have with anybody. I've really got nothing to hide and I'm secure in what we have, but I'm not going to unlock things that are actually precious to me. Basically in this interview, he used to say that his acting was like his passion, his fixation, and then he met her and now she is it. He flexes that they never spent time apart and it's well known in the industry. If he's going to be there, she's going to be there. And it seemed like this crap show was infectious. Just before that, her ex gets with Lily Allen at 23. Are they in competition? Are they just gross? Who the hell knows? The thing about all of these relationships that I can tell you from my experience, when you're that young and you get with them, you lose your ability to form your identity. Your identity becomes what they want you to be. 
And that is such a valid point. I'm so glad that TikToker said that because that is so true. That is something if you are a young person to be aware of when you are like, I think up until like 25, 24, like you can really start getting into that serious relationship, like dating to get married, but you really need those core formative years to, you can date, but like figure yourself out. He never got that chance. In 2017, Sam was quoted saying, if I gave a second thought to other people, I would be the unhappiest person, probably still in a miserable marriage. People like to talk about it and I'm like, yeah, but it works better than my last marriage and it's lasted a lot longer than my friend's marriages. But you must keep in mind, there is that power dynamic and she really kind of had like a big hand in his career. So really his entire like, you know, livelihood depended on her and keeping her happy and keeping her pleased. And then he he kind of like went from probably being with his parents all the time as a teenager to then having this mommy figure come in and she's his wife. This is a serious power imbalance. Adult, fully formed brain, understands intricate emotional adult concepts, barely out of adolescence, not fully formed brain, doesn't understand shit about life. And to add to that, she was his boss. She was also going through a divorce at the time of Nowhere Boy. And she had, I think, two children with her previous husband, one of which is only seven years younger than Aaron. One of the things that both of them sort of always refer to is that Aaron is an old soul. And to be honest, this is really problematic to me. The sentiment that your mental age is just older than your body is literally a common statement used in grooming. The way that she even speaks about their relationship and Aaron is often sort of interpreted as like very romantic and sweet. And all I see is obsession and control. Despite these two having a weird relationship, they are working in Hollywood and Sam is actually working on an Amy Winehouse biopic, which I was super excited about because I made a video about Amy Winehouse, a really good one, it was an old one, but it was such a good video. Love Amy Winehouse and I love her story and her music and um, there is a little bit of controversy around Sam directing this. Sam Taylor Johnson just keeps giving us more and more reasons to dislike her. I was super excited for an Amy Winehouse biopic until I realized she was attached to it. And based on the trailer, my initial instincts about it not being very good were correct. I don't know who that's supposed to be, but it's not giving Amy Winehouse. And I'm not saying that based off the fact that the actress doesn't look like Amy. And I'm sorry, but this actress is just not giving that. I think it was a miscasting. And I don't know how they messed this up, given the fact that the internet was requesting a certain few people as soon as we found out this biopic was being made. But I'm going to put most of it on Sam because as a director, you have so much control over what goes on during the filming process, how the actors are delivering the lines, location, wardrobe, like so much. And it really is just a slap in the face to Amy's legacy which could never truly be duplicated, but they could have did a hell of a better job trying. Even though it seems like her Amy Winehouse biopic will flop, she is really trying to direct a James Bond movie, and she wants her man, her husband, to play James Bond. Seems like she's not only obsessed with him, but also obsessed with work, and again, that control aspect plays a big part. Sam Taylor Johnson is certainly good with all of this, her husband as the next Bond talk. After all, if Aaron is the next 007, she may be the next director of a Bond film. And if so, she'd be the first female filmmaker within the storied James Bond franchise. On the Jonathan Ross show, when asked if Aaron will play James Bond, the director said that she had an idea, or at least a few ideas, that she may direct one of those films, and then he would be great to play James Bond. So not only is she going to try to get him that job, but she's going to try to take over the gig as well, because remember, these two can't stay away from each other red flag. No matter what Aaron thinks about his relationship, I hope that he's happy and I hope that there is some pure or innocent aspects to their relationship because a lot of it just seems so dark and sketchy and it actually makes me uncomfortable. It, it just feels like one of those like sick Hollywood stories that have just come to life and just like, you know, he never really who knows what he thinks. I mean, it's giving brainwashed. It is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys.